Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday or whenever you're watching this video. Uh, I'm coming on today with the project that I made for Saturday Morning Makes. Thank you to everybody who stopped by my channel to watch this video. Um, if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and hit the like button. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. So um, I made a Christmas card that I wanted to show you the products I used and show you the finished, uh, the finished card as well. So let's get started with the products that I used. Uh, the main focus of this card is this stamp that I just purchased recently from Impression Obsession and I will link it down below in case you're interested. It is called um, F16313 Cookie Basket and it's by Tara Caldwell, the artwork. And I just loved it because it's got so many possibilities uh, with the different cookies that are in here. You could add faces to them, you know, color them up in different ways. You could add different details to the basket, even a sentiment, which I did. So um, I was very eager to use this um, stamp, and that's what I did. So that's um, what it looks like on the other side. So I used that. I used this stamp for the sentiment on the inside of the card. It says, wishing you a basket full of love. And this is by JRL Design. I purchased this recently from eBay. So it's an older stamp, but um, you know, it's probably out there. Um, it was very cheap when I bought it. So if you're looking for it, hopefully you can find it as well. I also use this cute little uh, gingerbread. This comes from, I got this from eBay, I think also. Um, it's from 1998 Stampin' Up. And um, yeah, it's really cute. It's part of a larger larger set that I don't know what the name is, but I did get this um, this individual one. I used a stamp that um, I had gotten. I got this at Joann's, I think, last year, maybe the year before, but they might still have it. It's by Hero Arts. It's part of their 45th anniversary release. And I used, um, no, I used Sending Warm Wishes. I used that stamp. This is from, okay, 2020, so I must have gotten it last year. So super cute uh, vintage images, but yeah, I just used that one for this project. A few papers that I used, I used the uh, like the darker green gingham from Cozy Noel. This is from DCWV. I also got this from, no, actually, I didn't get this from Joann's. I got this from Frantic Stamper, but Joann's had it too. Also, this one, Frosted Peppermint, and I used this uh, red berry print. Um, for the um, darker parts of my card, I use papers from Astro Bright's cardstock set. I got this from Walmart recently. This is the Naturals version. So I used the honeycomb paper, and I think I used one of the husk as well. So this is a great assortment of darker papers, and I only saw it the one time at Walmart. I haven't seen it since. It was recently, but um, I'm just hoping that they restock. And I did use some enamel dots. I don't know where this is from. Um, it was just in my stash like this. So I used some of these, these like orangey red dots. If you hear laughter, that's my son playing video games. So yeah. But yep. Anyway, um, I also used a few other things. I used these deco edge scissors that I've had for a long time from Fiskars. I used some twine, just regular twine you can get anywhere, probably Walmart. I used my favorite Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. I use that all the time. I used this to do my stamping. This is Memento Tuxedo Black. And I use some glitter dust in silver. Um, I got this from, I think, Frantic Stamper also, but um, I'm, I wanna get the other colors too. Um, there, there's also gold and iridescent, but the silver works great. And then I use some alcohol markers. I got these recently at Home Goods, and these are by King Art. There's 24 colors, and this is the, um, what is it called? Well, anyway, it was $19.99. My Marshalls and Home Goods are in the same store. Um, anyway, those are all the colors that it comes with. I think it was called, oh, the Portrait Palette. So it's all like different flesh tones, which is great for when you're making gingerbread or, you know, like, um, brown kind of uh, images. So yeah, this was perfect. All right, so let me show you what I made. This is the card, and I think it came out so cute. This basket of cookie stamp, 
Uh, it's stamped really easily with the Memento ink. Um, I just did it one time. And I drew in the faces. Oh, I forgot to show you that. This is the black jelly roll pen that I use. This is from Michaels, and this is the um, 08 width. So, uh, yeah, I just went in and drew the little faces, and I think those came out really cute. And I did um, some coloring. I'm not the world's best alcohol ink colorer, but I think they came out okay. Um, I used just the different tans and uh, creams from this pack. And for the colors that I didn't have in this in this pack, like the green, um, and I think I think that might be oh, and the pink too. No, there was some pink in here. I think just the greens I used from uh, different alcohol ink markers that I had. Um, there are those enamel dots that I used. I put a piece of twine on the on the basket just to add a little bit of interest to it. There's a sentiment that I stamped, sending warm wishes, and uh, it's stamped really well. I stamped it after I'd colored it. I used a Distress Oxide on all the edges, the deckled edges of this paper and this one, and also on the card base. And I only sprayed the basket of cookies uh, before I mounted it onto the green plaid paper. I sprayed it with that glitter dust just to give it a little bit of a pop. And then I raised up the first two layers or the first three layers with a little bit of foam tape just to give it a, a tiny bit of height and dimension to set apart from the base of the card. Uh, the inside looks like this. There's that little gingerbread stamp it up stamp and this is the sentiment that very simple but I don't really go crazy on the inside of cards so that's probably more than I usually do. <laughs> So yeah, that's my project for today. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun stamping and coloring this. I did do some fussy cutting, as you can see, which was not hard to do. And while I was watching videos, it just went by really quick. So anyway, thank you for watching um, my video for today for Saturday Morning Makes. If you want to participate in this, all you have to do is hashtag your project. Hashtag Satmorn Makes. You could do that on YouTube, on Instagram, or on Facebook. And whenever anybody searches for that hashtag, your project will come up. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to read it. And I will be back soon with another crafty video. Take care, everybody. Bye.